Hello students, welcome to another video tutorial. I'm Miss Ng here. Today I'd like to show you how to answer a chapter 3 uh, question. It's a premium video um, and this chapter 3 question is the, from 5 integration. Yeah? Okay, and it relates differentiation and integration together which is a pretty common question in SPM. Alright, okay, it's a paper 1 question and it uh, carries 4 marks. Yeah? Okay, so it says a curve has a gradient function Okay, the keyword here is the gradient function, kx squared plus x where k is a constant. Tangent to the curve at a point is parallel to the straight line y equals 4x minus 7. So now when you see this kind of question, it is important that you can imagine how it looks like, right? It will help you to understand it. Okay, so um, I'll just roughly sketch it out. You have a curve, it could be a smiley face or a sad face. Um, it doesn't matter. For illustration purpose, say this is the point one and half. And they say the tangent at this point, yeah, so the tangent is this, you draw a straight line. It's parallel to another line. So let's just say that the other parallel line is here, okay? And this this, this is y equals to 4x minus 7. Okay, so now when you see this picture, you can understand that uh, the dy dx, which is the gradient function for the curve, is actually the gradient of the tangent, okay? So the dy dx which is kx squared plus x is actually the gradient of the tangent at this particular point which is also equal to the gradient of this line since they are parallel so you know that kx squared plus x is equal to 4 you see this is y goes mx plus c the m is the gradient of this line which is also the gradient of the tangent yeah so now the, it says find the value of k so you have kx squared plus x equals to 4 so what is the value of x then see the x coordinate here right that's where the uh, straight line the tangent passes as well so you can just substitute one inside so k that's 1 square plus 1 equals to 4 okay so that's k is equals to 3 that's it simple Alright, that's for you to answer question A. Now, question B says to find the equation of the curve. Remember, this dy dx is the gradient and you have found a k. So, dy dx is 3x squared plus x. Now, to find the equation of the curve, which is the original uh, curve, you have to inverse the dy dx, yeah? Because dy dx came from the original curve. So, the original curve is y equals to the integration of 3x squared plus x in terms of x. So now you integrate, that's 3x cubed over 3 plus x squared over 2, and remember to put a plus c. Okay, now this is the equation of your curve, but you have a plus c, and you cannot leave it like that because they specifically says to find the equation of a curve. So you have to find the c, and as always, the key to find the C, whether it is in a quadratic or integration or in a straight line y equals mx plus C, to find the C is you substitute the point into the equation. Alright, so here you have it, uh, y is half, and uh, that's x cubed, so that's 1 plus 1 over 2 plus C. So uh, C is equals to negative 1. Alright, now don't leave this, yeah. I, I see a lot of students who forget and they leave the answer just like that. It's wrong, yeah. You will minus, you will get one mark deducted. So, uh, write the equation again. Y is equals to x cubed plus 1 over 2 x squared minus 1. That's your final answer. The equation of the curve. Okay? Alright, so it's uh, pretty simple, okay? Now, uh, I have other questions that I'd like to discuss with you, but before that, I will show you the question, try it for yourself, then you can look at the other video that, uh, that I've done to help you with this question, okay? So, uh, here we go, you have this question here. Uh, it's another premium video, okay, and this question relates to area under the curve, yeah? Area under the curve. Uh, area under the graph so you are supposed to find the area of the sh shaded region right so have a look try it and i'll see you in the next video